Hello and welcome friends, newcomers, and returning viewers alike. We are playing Star Valor, a game that I uh, super enjoy. I am playing it because I am on a brief break from some other things that I usually do. And uh, these are experimental slots, so I thought I would just throw this game in here and if nobody watches it, I'm gonna have a good time anyway. So Star Valor, the last time I tried to play this game, it was the one of the three series that I put out literally days before my computer exploded and I could do nothing about fixing it for several months. So it kind of flopped. Where does that put us? Well, that puts us at the place where we're going to play it again fresh. I haven't played this game in a while. And since I haven't played this game in a while, my skills are a little less than they used to be when I tried to play it last time, but they weren't that great then. Which means we are not gonna do permadeath, but then we need some other kind of challenge. Well, I do have this new little perk here, this uh, lovely little perk, Self-Reliant, and I thought, why don't we do a Self-Reliant game? When you're Self-Reliant, you start with a lot of basic blueprints, like basically every piece of basic equipment, but you can't buy weapons and equipment or ships. So the only way you can find ships is to find them out in the world and drag them back in with your homemade tractor beam and the only way you can advance your equipment is to find either equipment that you salvage find blueprints in salvage or obviously you can buy some blueprints from uh, the tinkers and that can help you get going too we have a lot of recipes at the beginning though so we will be able to make a ship that's able to get us at least to the point where we're kind of out there doing stuff so we're just going to put this in now so that we know this is the basis our background is going to be Otis. Well, why is that? Well, when I play games like this, I kind of like to put a bit of a role-playing set of limits on myself in order to make it so that the game stays interesting to me no matter what happens. And so we're going to do that here. Our backstory is going to be that we are a miner whose father was betrayed and all of the assets of, of his father's company were taken by a weapons dealer from from the syndicate and so we are mistrusting of the syndicate and we are neutral as to the Vengi and the children of Terra we think the Vengi hold us back and we think the children of Terra are resorting to violence when it's too soon to do that we will see what happens during the game I don't know I will make different decisions based on what I feel like and we'll just have some fun and play it out there's not a lot of role-playing hooks in this game, but we do have the starting story at least, which is something fun. Which means any time that we have any role-playing hooks, I'm just gonna have to make it up on my own. You know, that's pretty cool, right? So for our experience, we're gonna take armor plating. Uh, I think this is good for us to start. Don't usually like to take the, uh, the things that give us extra skill, because skills go up pretty fast. But I am sort of thinking this time of maybe grabbing technology. And then... Speed, power optimization, or power management. I think speed will get us going faster at the beginning. So I think we're gonna go with speed. Good. For our other perks, uh, we're gonna take Guardian Angel, just doubling down on our ship being modified to be specially tough. Then I think we're gonna pick up Anaximander for the scanning power and the sensor power. And I think we're going to take the techie bonus for extra scavenging blue blueprints from scavenging. This should, this should be cool. For our spaceship, we could pretty much take whatever ships we have. I don't have many frigates and I don't really usually like to start with a frigate. I just find them too awkward at the beginning when you don't have much speed. Corvette might be nice, though. Uh, maybe to go with our theme, we could grab one of the working Corvettes. We could grab the uh, Syndicate Corvette here. It's a really nice ship that I really like. I enjoy it very much at the beginning. Or we could grab the um, the Hawk, the Miner Corvette, which give us a mining speed bonus. Whatever ship we buy here is going to be our ship for a while. We won't be able to pick anything else up until we get out there a little further and can start finding some nice, uh, some nice, like, uh, distress signals and stuff. So we might, it might be worth it to take a bigger ship just so we don't have to depend on finding one. 
No, I think we're gonna go with a Corvette. I think we're gonna go with a Corvette. Hawk, Guardian. Guardian, Hawk. Hawk, Guardian. Any other choices that might be good? I don't think so. There's another blue. It's always the Dorothy. Dorothy has a turret, so we could put point defense on it. Point defense on a turret would be nice. Uh, the, the Hawk here has two turrets and the Guardian has no turrets. Its only crew member is a co-pilot. I'm kind of thinking maybe we do the Dorothy then. I like it. It feels kind of like a, like a Millennium Falcon style ship. I'm gonna call ourselves Captain Lawrence Huntinor. Just so everyone knows, my name is not Lawrence. We're gonna move this up to the minimum large. Leave collision damage off because I am very, 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 uh, very, very rusty. And so I will crash into everything. We should also take a pilot. I don't have a lot of pilots available. I do always like to take the engineer because he makes all of your uh, projectile weapons explode. He's a good gunner. A uh, gunner co-pilot is useful. Uh, usually avoid Bogan because we don't want extra powerful enemies in a game like this, not when we're trying to learn again, and uh, the high tinker is great for acquiring tech. Oh, that's interesting. Usually I would um, avoid him because of his huge experience receive penalty, but uh, we could actually probably make use of his tech acquisition rate. Yeah, come on board. Oh, the only problem is he's he's not a gunner and I need a gunner for my turret. I can always buy a gunner. I, I'm thinking too far ahead. <laughs> thinking too far ahead. So we're gonna do this. This is gonna be our com combination. We have one point left over, but I don't have anything to spend it on and I can't really get rid of it. It's because this is giving us two points that I'm not accustomed to having. These two have a good stacking bonus, 50% extra chance to find blueprints when scavenging. Let's just create the game and get going. I'm actually really excited to return this game to the channel and actually give it a real playthrough. I have played a moderate amount of this game, but I, I did a special thing with it, which is I preserved going past level 50. I didn't want to overplay the game and get every single thing uh, because I knew that that would make me not want to play it on the channel. And then my computer exploded and everything went badly. And when I came back, it was a while before I got back into do it, making videos for the channel at all. In fact, I took a long break. Where are we gonna start here? I think the obvious choice is scavenging. We could go with business though. We're gonna need to mine a lot. Making all of our own equipment means we're gonna need two things in large amounts, iron and uh, scrap metal. So I think we're gonna start with, with business like that. What is the business combined one? I think there is one where they combine business and engineering. You would think there was. They, they look like a good... Yeah, there we are. Deep space scanning. Reveals asteroid fields in the sector. Okay. Yeah, that could be good. Also, um, where's the other one? This would be very good for us. Exploration and engineering. Wait. It's exploration. It's engineering and business we were looking for. Is there no engineering in business? Oh, that might be one of the ones that actually doesn't exist. Engineering and exploration. So I guess we're gonna do these two first. That's really useful though, because this speed will really help us out a lot too. So I guess we're gonna start by doing scavenging and then the speed, and then we'll figure out what else we do from there. I would like to actually get this, which means grabbing social maybe, and I would like to grab this for debris and sectors. So let's just go into here immediately. So we cannot buy equipment, but we can trade goods. So we can make money off of trading. 
Uh, we can also buy the stuff required to make our crafting take place. Basically, we're going to have a lot to do. It's going to be very different. The start is going to be quite different. And I'm hoping that we can make it work. Okay. Um, we should check. I, I opened this for a reason. Should be checking for the locations of our... Okay, so that's... We don't have a warp drive yet, so that's a the too far ahead thinking. Uh, this is liquid nitrogen. We'll accept that. We're going to be making some of our early experience and some of our early equipment will be from cashing this stuff in or using it. We need nickel. Probably find that pretty easily in one of the starting systems. We're not going to fight anything immediately because we're not good at that. We are not good at that. And yeah, let's go. There's usually two stations in the starting system. The other one's usually down here. The starting system is pretty consistent. Some things do seem to move around a little bit, but I'm not sure that I didn't just imagine that. Like the locations of like uh, debris fields and stuff. We have our pathetic little laser and our asteroid cutter. Just gonna zoom right out here to grab some stuff here. We probably don't need to do this right away. I'm probably not wasting my time by doing this right now. In fact, I'm probably gonna rethink this almost immediately. It's better to do this after we have a source of, um, of scrap metal because iron is easier to get than scrap metal. We're going to want to build a, probably our very first piece of equipment is going to be a, um, what do they call that thing? Um, a smelter, um, a refinery, that's it. Probably going to build a refinery almost immediately. We're going to need a lot of blue crystals, but I think we're going to start as if we were explorers. Because, um, yeah, we need to find a early oh I, I forgot to do something I did start so I can get the quest right yeah gearing up so anyway the first gearing up we'll get at the space station immediately I'll show you how and we should probably build the uh we should probably should build the shield as soon as we can as well so just hit this up so maybe this isn't random at all because I'm pretty sure this is where it was last time We're so slow. Usually I start with small ships, but this time I want to start with a large ship because I'm not going to probably have much, many good ship choices. And I want something that's uh, tough and multi-use. Something that can hold some larger equipment in it if necessary. Because we're not going to have a lot of choices since we can't buy ships to upgrade them. All right. It's our second station. Look at in here. We're going to pick up the scouting mission, obviously, because that's just pretty much automatic. This requires explosives. Let's see if they have anything we need here. They have the liquid nitrogen. That was a liquid nitrogen quest, right? Nickel. Yep. So we need a liquid nitrogen. So that's good. They also have nickel. This is a good starting uh, base here. We don't have the money. I mean, I suppose we can sell... We're going to just equip this right away. Um, so we don't need this. And I guess we don't need this. And we'll get plenty more of these as well. We want to buy this liquid nitrogen if we can. We can. There we go. That's a good start. And yeah, it's going to be a very different beginning from most games because we're not going to go out there and try to smash things real fast. Instead, we're going to be trying to explore until we find a good source of scrap metal. And then we're going to try to build up our very first little ugly ship here into something usable. These can be a little risky at the start, but we probably can't be destroyed faster than we can turn around and go back through. So that's a good thing. The pirate hideout up there? We don't want to fight those things if we can help it. They're probably level one, but uh, still. You know, if he if he helps us with one of them, we can probably get the other ones because we're tough. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're not you're not allowed to assist here. This is. We are very poor. We're shooting very poor. Okay. 
We need to stop spazzing out and actually use our guns. Ah, cannon ammo equals money. Let's... Seems like maybe they cleared this out or what, maybe the one of the ships fled. Oh, there's one ship left. I wonder what level it is. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll kill this two as well. We're good enough to do that. The reward from doing this is probably where... Oh, geez, another pirate. Oh, God. Help me. Okay. Okay. That was probably too much for us. I said we weren't going to do combat. Then we did combat and proved me right when I said that the combat at the beginning will be too rough for us because we can't upgrade our weapons even a little bit. Two scrap metal, though. That's useful. That's one whole basic component. That might be... It's like... It's like half of a, uh, so we almost have a, um, I can't, my words don't work anymore today, I guess. We already almost have the ability to make a shield generator. So we could do the second quest. And move on with the little quest sequence, the little starting quest sequence. To get some free XP. It's cool, the knights are out here. Good on you guys. Good work. We want to take... I guess a second light laser. I guess we can take the... Uh, the Vulcan cannon just so that we can scrap it. It's good. Let's immediately make a basic component because we have the ability to do that right away. We have so much stuff. <laughs> so different from usual. Okay, and then dump all that stuff into the storage. We will sell all of this. We will destroy these so that we can someday get good stuff out of them. And then we should be able to equip this extra laser. For now, there's no reason not to put them on separate mounts because we don't have enough weapons to worry about that um oh we other important thing we need to do <laughs> fully repair our severely damaged ship they're just going to continue here i i do really love this game and i am i'm hoping i hoping we can have a good time look at that two pathetic little lasers look at us I need to check all these jump gates so I can get my scouting done. We need to try to find debris fields. We're really looking for an early debris field place, but if we can complete the early quests, they'll lead us to one. I think the third or fourth quest leads you to one. It's like a shield and then we need a rapid burst laser, but that's just creating two basic items. So it should be really easy. Maybe we do that for now. Just to get a little oomph behind us. I have completely mussed up the logic of my my searching. I should have ran to the other corner at the beginning. But that's fine. That is perfectly Oh, ooh, this led us to a debris field though. That was something we literally just said we needed. Just park right in here and hope we get something nice. Come on, something nice. Two base components. Oh, that means we probably should mine for a little while. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many people are going to watch this. I don't know how many how people feel about like a series like this. How much mining I should do on screen. I can kill these level one guys, especially now that I had two. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he barely got through my shields. That was sort of an improvement. Wait, where's my, where's my dude? Um, did I not select a passenger? Oh, I, I picked High Tinker Steve. I originally was, I thought it took the explosive guy, but I took High Tinker Steve instead. That's okay, it's okay. What are you doing?
Listen, I I might f seem like easy prey because my ship is pathetic and I have no way to easily upgrade it, but I am not easy prey. I am a moderate prey, at least moderate prey, guys. Come on. Come on. More gray ore. It's just reminding me of the fact that I may actually want to use my first iron to build a, uh, <laughs> a refinery first. In spite of the quest, I still haven't done the quest thing. But anyway, there's a thing you can do where you can just take off your, uh, your nuclear engine and put it back on and it finishes the first quest. So just thought I would uh, mention that, just... Oh, there's a tinker's workshop out here! Is there usually a tinker's workshop hidden in this corner? I don't think there is. I guess that puts me back to thinking what I was thought before, which is that this is random, to some degree. Tinker's Workshop. I love the design of this this particular space station type. It's one of my favorite things in the game. Somehow we need to get friendly with them so that we can we can do their missions because they're going to be really important to us. Let's see. So we'll have all of these because we have all the basic ones, but thermal regulator and translator we won't have. Um, we should just be buying all their scrap metal because. That will help us immensely. Can't buy ships, can't buy equipment. It's pretty much all we can do here. Is there anything that we might be able to sell them? Uh, you just save energy cells for a jump in case that's where our first uh, space graveyard is. If we have to do a jump, we need those base components. Everything here we need. Yeah, let's stash the stuff we can stash. We probably want to try to get... I mean, the reality is we can now do our first upgrade, so let's go do our first upgrades. Uh, the first, like I said before, there's a couple of high priority things. Since we found that place, we can definitely prioritize a little bit differently. We will peek through here, though, because we need to. I'm not injured enough that I'm worried that this one will be dangerous and they'll kill us. If it's dangerous, we'll probably get back through before they can kill us. Oh, a mining. Oh, yes, PCM system. That could be of use. It's level four, but it probably will give us better yields from the mines than <laughs> the starting system's mine. So we might spend some time exploring there. And here's the last one. One of these sometimes is a hostile one. In fact, it seems to be that way quite a lot. So let's let's go in expecting enemies. Be nice not to be killed in the first episode. I'd look like a complete idiot at the game. It's, it's a different kind of hostile. Look at that little guy over there hiding in the corner. You know, I'm really used to only seeing those guys in ship graveyards, but I don't think this is a ship graveyard. It doesn't really look like one. I don't know, maybe this is a place for us to explore later, figure out what it actually is. Maybe it's a ship graveyard, maybe it's something completely different. I don't know, maybe this is a place for us to explore later. But if it's a ship graveyard, that would be extremely helpful. Extremely helpful, especially for this setup. I had all the plans to let you live, and then you came back and tried to take advantage of my slow-turning monsters. Undeveloped ship. We have, we have troubles. <laughs> so many troubles, but it's worth it. I'm telling you it's worth it. This is gonna be a fun playthrough because it's gonna force me to do something that I know is the superior way to play, but I oftentimes get stuck not doing, and that is only use equipment that I make myself so that I can like quickly maximize equipment. So this is good, we got that, which gives us our warp drive, which we definitely did need. So local delivery here, we'll probably do this. We probably won't be able to do it at the speed, but we'll get something from it anyway. Let's go to our crafting. So we want to build... Actually, first we go to the hangar and we just do this before we forget. So we unequip this. I got to repair first. <laughs> Try this again. So we unequip this, which completes the first quest. When it drops out our inventory, then we re-equip it because we obviously need it. We equip our warp drive because we obviously need it. And then we want to look at crafting, and the next thing we want to build is a shield generator. Super easy, we got lots of components right now. And by lots, I mean three, plus if we buy iron, enough to make five more. So that should get us our basic stuff done. Um, let's go to the lobby, let's trade, let's buy... Microchips, well they're a little expensive here. I might want to check the other one to see if it's cheaper, but I'm going to build this shield at least before we do that. Let's build this. 
All right, so the thing I just clicked off was the next quest, which is for a burst light laser, the last piece of equipment that they require us to acquire somehow for the quest to proceed. The next quest should give us the location of a ship graveyard, something that we're very much going to need in order to progress in the early game. We're going to need a relatively reliable source of scrap metal if we're even going to get out of here, which is another reason why we should make a refinery as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm just going to take all these freighter missions that have common things, like all the ones for red crystals and, and stuff that the early stations have, like explosives and uh, nitroglycerin. Just just gives us some free XP, which we could definitely use. So we're looking for a gun next. Like I said, I just want to pop over to the other state. Oh, nope, this is bad. We're, nope, we're still in range. It's fine. <laughs> take the local delivery if we're going to pop back over there. If we're going to fly over there anyway, we might as well take that local delivery. Keep on this. Maybe I should have done the speed first to to speed up this uh, first section of play, but, uh, you know, it's just the way it goes. There's not a lot you can do at the beginning. It is just a little bit slow, and you just got to just gotta sort of relax into it, you know? Relax into it. Our beautiful Dorothy. Our beautiful Dorothy. Ship is going to serve us well, I think, in the long term. All right, so we have finished our local delivery. Uh, none of this stuff matters because we're not ready for it. We want to look at how much their microchips are cheaper here. They don't have explosives, but that would have been actually kind of surprising since it would have meant both of the uh, original freight missions were in the Sims, or all the original freight missions were in the same system, and that's pretty rare. Let's look at our crafting. We need to craft one thing that we probably don't even want. This burst light cannon, we have no choice. We have to make it because it's part of the uh, mission. I can buy the iron. It's super cheap here. I need 10 of them. We're going to just buy the iron. Usually, we're going to try to be more self-sufficient than we are right now by mining the iron, but I just we're just not really there yet. And we just want to get this stuff all done. The first session basic stuff, we just want it over. If the quest triggers on the... Uh, ship graveyard that we already found, we can get pretty far into the quest sequence just right here, right away. We are looking for... This is actually harder to find stuff than it usually is because we have so much stuff. Uh, it's going to build five of these. And then we're going to go over to here and we're going to build that uh, burst light cannon, which means we need two microchips. Uh, I cannot afford two microchips, which means I'm going to sell these blue crystals. Yep. And buy another microchip. And then we're going to craft this up. Quest completed. Now we want to travel to where this tells us to travel. We'll check it now. Oh no, it's not. So that's an interesting situation to be in. We have a Proxima Mining Company place over here. We have a Pitch Black place over here. And we have a... This may not be a ship graveyard, just because it has one of those... Well, uh, they are always in them. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to check it out a little bit better. It's probably where we're going to jump from anyway. It's just really dangerous for us, so... So that's the thing. What else have we done? What else do we need to do? The last thing we need to do is we need to craft a... Uh, a component... We need a basic mobile refinery. Two microchips. That's all of our base. Well, we could have sold these these cannons instead of those blue crystals. No, they're not that worth that much. That ammo was not worth much at all, so we're fine. I probably want to buy energy cells enough to get to five, just because that's likely going to be useful. We're going to actually immediately scrap that back into a piece of iron so we can maybe i don't know we're never gonna use it but we need the skills <laughs> we'll do it for the skill equipment all these ships we could never buy um <laughs> i think we need oh that was a mistake somehow we we didn't okay I'll, I'll sell all of you two, and that gets me one. <laughs> okay, that's a thing that happened. 
So we don't have enough money to buy two microchips <laughs> because we're poor. So that's the situation we're in, I guess. Uh, let's just head over to the um, to the nearby asteroid field and, and just pick up a couple of little things. Oh, there's some free bismuth. That'll... Oh, no, no, no. That... Mm, we'll never catch that. We'll never catch it, but we gotta try. You know, it doesn't matter that we won't catch it because it is required by the code of the Star Valor player that when you see it, you gotta try. We're, we don't have a chance. We never had a chance. This thing doesn't turn fast enough. But, you know, we had to prove we didn't have a chance. Or something. I'll, I'll just keep telling myself that it made sense for me to run off that way when there was clearly no chance we could catch that. At least there's not usually very many threats in the system. And we're gonna pick that bismuth up and we're gonna immediately sell it to, uh, to buy a microchip. It didn't go away yet. Yeah, no, it's not been five minutes. <laughs> just grab that. Buy ourselves a microchip, and then we are ready. We are ready to become a mining machine. Trade for this good enough. Buy a microchip. Craft a basic mobile refinery. Equip a basic mobile refinery. Ah, oh, yeah. I think that's going to be a good first episode. We are playing Star Valor. We are playing no buying anything except uh, for trade goods and things to help us craft. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a time. I'm I'm already predicting having a good time because it's going to force me to play in ways I don't play. That and our little like mental backstory will also force us to play in ways we didn't play. We're not going to trust the syndicate, so we're not going to be doing too much heavy money trading just to give us lots of money. We don't have as much use for money anyway because we can't buy big ships or or expensive stuff. We got to make it all ourselves. Still, we're going to need a pretty good flow of money in order to keep getting the parts we need for the equipment that we're going to craft. Anyway, my name is Huntiner and this has been Star Valor. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you the next time we are here with our pilot, Captain Lawrence Huntiner. Otis, former miner. Crafter at large. Goodbye for now.